Hey everybody, Bernie here. Go check out Tractor Man. We're, we're working on a project together making a silver tuning fork. I'm going to make a new flask. I'm going to make a long skinny one like that. I made this one here, but it's really tight in there. It barely fits, so I'll make a little bit longer one. Not so tall, so I won't take as much sand. See how it goes. So here I have my new flask and mold. I'm going to screw it together like that. Um, it's a tuning fork in there. We're going to make that out of silver. Okay, so I packed the sand up there and scraped it off smooth. This is what it looks like on the other side. It's a tuning fork. Now, you can't get it out of there because it's flat. So you need to take something and dig down halfways around, halfways down I mean, all the way around. So kind of a tool like this works out really good. You have to scrape it down halfways, down it all the way around it. <clears throat> you have to dig it out enough so it will fall out of there. And then you put the top on pack it full of sand and take it out. You'll see as I go here. Okay there I got it all cleaned out. You can see what I mean. Halfways down all the way around it because there's no way you're going to be able to push that down into the sand. So you lay it down first, put the frame around it, pack the sand up really tight, scrape it flat and flip it over to this spot right here and then excavate it down halfways. And I'll put the top on there, pack that with sand. You're going to want to put some flour off across the top of this first. Some kind of talcum powder or something across there. Put the top on, pack it with sand, scrape it flat. Open it back up and take it out. I made this flask like this. It's just three quarter by three quarter. I did mill it out so there's a little edge down in there. You can see that. So I ran to the table saw and just took that wood that's missing there, but left that little bit on the bottom so that there's something there to separate the two. And you put it together. Then I just ran screws straight through it. There's no pins or anything like that. I should just be able to screw it down nice and tight and. It should work. We'll see what happens. There you go. Check it out. Packed her up. I backed this screws out and lifted it off there and actually came out pretty dang good. I'm not surprised but uh, just a little bit of sand came off and that doesn't even matter it's just that chunk you gotta knock off anyways. So I made this mold really thin so it doesn't take up much sand and I can do long stuff like knives in there. Those are uh, I think 8 inches long, 8 by 3. Alright, we got it out of there. This is what it is. It's a tuning fork. It pulled a little sand in there in the crotch of that thing, but I'll be able to file that out. It's way better than packing it back up again because it turned out nice. Pretty cool. Amen. All right, we're almost there. This is what we're gonna try to make. This is actually made out of aluminum. Bing. Bing. It's a C. We're waiting on this. Waiting and waiting and waiting. We're waiting like 10 minutes. It's almost there. And we're gonna pour it in here. That clamp is just to keep it from falling over. Cause it's got screws holding it together tight. 
nice and skinny. So I'm going to set you up here and we're going to pour it in a second. All right, I got some silver there. We'll put that in the heater here in a minute. So I'm going to get it warm before I put the silver in there. We'll pour it down in there in a little tiny hole. So uh, I hope it works out. See what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, grab on your socks. I've never poured into this yet. It's going to be kind of tricky. I hope it works out. It didn't work. Well, it's terrible news. I'm burning up my mold. Sweet hot dog. Suck. That's terrible news. Just a bunch of waste of time. time deal. So I got to shut off the metal melter and take this apart, dump it out, cut it into pieces and remelt it. Time for some ribs. I'll be back. Alright, well let's just see what we got here actually. I haven't opened it up yet. Let's just laugh and see what we didn't get. went down in there and then it clogged up. So, it's not so hot dog. I'm gonna have to make that, I'll have to make that full size right up at the top there. We got part of a tuning fork. Uh oh. We got a tuna fish. Oh, we got Sand everywhere. Hot dog. Not. Stay. I think it's so skinny it wants to tip over. Let's just see this tuning fork business. No, there's no ding. She's soft. I can bend it. There's my anchor. All right. Back to the drawing board if I have some ribs. All right, take two. Let's see how this goes for the second time around. Wish me luck. in there, had a bigger hole, but I added an ounce of silver. It's really hard to say. I'm going to put a little water on there though. Keep that full. Yeah, making some 
soup. Mm. Hot dog, as Bernie says. Hot dog. All right, what do you think we got? Uh huh. I don't know. I think it was a waste of time. Oh, I certainly hope not. Please be there. Voila. Oh, it worked. Hot dog. As Bernie says. Hot dog. With mustard. Look at that. Sweet. Sweet ass. I think I'm going to let it harden, cool off by itself there, rather than throw it in the water, because I want that thing as hard as I can get it. I'm going to have to harden it up anyway, so. Look at that. Seemed to work out pretty well. My eyes are burning a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, don't put that there. Anywhere except there. Um, this thing is really hot, but I am not going to be able to pick it up for a while. So, hot dog, check that out. It's still warm. I let it, I let it air dry, so it's a lot harder than it. It's still pretty soft, but. If you let it air dry, it should be 25% harder than if you dip it in the water. It's still pretty soft, but it's harder than it would be. So I just let it air dry. I'll cut this off here. It's hard to gauge how much it was, how much silver it was going to take. But we got her. We'll shine her up. So here I have it all filed down. For the most part, you can just barely see the seam there. Now I will go and polish it. Hot dog! All right, we got her all shined up. Solid silver tuning fork. Here's an aluminum one. There's my maker's mark, the anchor up there. Hot dog! Turned out pretty darn nice. Thanks for watching everybody. Go check out Tractor Man when he reveals it. Likes, subscribe, and thumbs up. Peace.